Hey, you two, the American Sam, right back to with another Doctor Who review for you guys this time. This time, we're looking at the Doctor Who story, Enemy of the World. This was story number 40, and I can't read the rest of this text under the SpongeBob head. Feliz Navidad! Happy Christmas, everybody! I'm kidding. Happy holidays, though. Um, hoping you're going to, hoping you're looking forward and enjoying preparations for the holiday season. But now, let's get on to the view. This is the 40th story of Doctor Who. It's done Patrick Charlton as two characters. This is a simple part story. Newly rediscovered after being missing for 45 years, the classic Doctor Who's second adventure story Doctor so the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton, the special DVD release, which has been missing from the BBC archives since they were first broadcast in 1968. Tyrus has landed on an Australian beach in the 21st century, but this is no OCC holiday. Within minutes, the Doctor, Jamie, and Victoria, they soon discover the doctor, that the Doctor bears a sterling resemblance to, their lead, to the leader, Salamander, a would-be dictator intended on world domination. Before long, the Doctor and his companions are plunged into a dangerous game of espionage, intrigue, dissent, as they face off against the enemy of the world. This is pretty cool. This makes Patrick Tr Trouton the second Doctor. Uh, well, not only him, as the second Doctor, but he's also in because William Hartnell actually played uh, an evil version, an e both the hero and villain, in the massacre, which is sadly has not been, has not, as of this day, been recovered. Uh, but yes, and Patrick Hartnell did a wonderful job in this, playing both good and evil. Sadly, there are no special features on this one, but I think the story, the fact that it's a full story itself, with all the episodes, as opposed to. Uh, or, you know, which is probably still one of my favorite stories, but has two reconstruction episodes in there, so it's very cool. You get all the episodes in this six part serial, so it's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I said a little off, I've kind of been. I've been like, it's any old Looney cartoons. Well, I've been sick. That's about how I feel. <coughs> but, anyways. I enjoyed the story a lot more than I thought I would, honestly. I didn't think I'd like it, but I really do. The primary reason I got it is because this is the story that directly follows, um, or right after this, is my favorite Doctor Who, second Doctor story, The Fear. And you see Salamander being sucked out of the, uh, thing. <laughs> and those of you who don't know, if you read the third Doctor story, um, mini series. Because I know for a long time after this was released, people were talking. So there was a spy in how they would love to have the third Doctor face off against Salamander. So in the comic, they actually did do that. So Salamander has actually returned into the comics. I don't know what happened to him after that, and why he suddenly decided to dress up as a uh, start wearing clothes similar to what the Doctor wore. I probably still could pass himself off as the Doctor, most likely. But he told the Dutch he told the of his own, I don't know. Anyways. But overall, like I said, I enjoyed the story. This is a 5 out of 5. Pure and simple. I still... I would, pro I would probably be the same range of the word of fear. But what's cool... Uh, what I like about this is it's literally all six parts. No... It, it does a really good job of keeping you entertained. There's no... I don't think there's really any slow parts in the story. So yeah, this is a five out of five for me. Um, if you're thinking of what to get a Doctor Who fan in your in your life, and maybe they're only into the modern Who and they've never seen the classic Who, I'd recommend starting starting here. Honestly, either this one or
Or maybe these two together. The Three Doctors is also a really good one. That actually has Patrick. Yeah, too. Uh, I think, until uh, he died, he was pretty much in most of the... I think he was pretty much in all the classic Doctor crossovers, even the two Doctors, which was a... Not an official one, but it was still pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I know they've done Peter Capaldi. Or not Peter Capaldi. I know they've done Blu-ray sets for a fourth and fifth Doctor. Does anyone know who's coming next? Is it going to be the sixth Doctor, or are they going to go, go back a ways and do the third Doctor, or are they going to release another set for the, either the fourth or fifth Doctor? Uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But like I said, Doctor Who, Anywhere of the World, a 5 out of 5 for me. I recommend checking it out, and I'll see you guys on the B&B &B that's by and by, so sayonara, companions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an edition at Nickelodeon Studios.